Uploading a video to YouTube is far more intimidating than it should be. You want to make sure your YouTube uploads are as high definition as possible, especially if you're uploading in 4K. You've put in all this effort so far, and there are a few key elements of uploading that really aren't clearly outlined. That can really play a huge role in the success of your YouTube upload. Don't throw it all away right at the very end. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how I upload a video and my YouTube upload strategy in general. And I'm gonna give you all of the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way because out of all the videos I've seen on this topic so far, none of them really give the justice to it. Because uploading is such a critical point to the success of your video. And once we get all the basics down, I'm gonna show you how to upload faster. So make sure that you stick around to the very end if you wanna see that. First and foremost, let's go to YouTube. So I have YouTube open here. I'm on a different channel than what I usually upload to. Just to show you the process if this was your first time. The practice is going to be very much identical, but you want to make sure that you have a Gmail account and then go to YouTube. You can set up a channel very easily within a couple of clicks. So let's go to the top right corner of YouTube. And it doesn't matter if you're on the YouTube homepage or your personal channel, we're going to have this little camera button over here with a plus sign. And if we hover over it, we can actually see that it says the word create. So when we click on that, we're either going to have two or three different options. The first two options are going to be upload video or go live on YouTube. Now, once you have a thousand subscribers and congratulations if you pass that mark, because that is the hardest part of having a YouTube channel. That's like one of the biggest milestones, I would say. But once you have a thousand, you actually have a community tab. So if you click on this create button and you see the word post, that's if you want to post to your community, whether it's a poll, just a video snippet or an image just to really engage with your channel community. That's what that means. Today, we are just uploading a video so we're going to click on upload and as you can see we are prompted with this window now we have two options here we can either go and click select files and select our file or we can drag and drop our file so as you can see here, I have two different videos in my export folder. One is an MP4 and one is a .mov. There's also a huge difference in file size, but we'll get to that later. Now, the reason I have both of these files is to emphasize how important it is to follow YouTube's guidelines. Google and YouTube have put together their recommended settings for when you're uploading to YouTube. This is gonna affect things like the playback performance and just overall quality. So it's really important to make sure that we have exported our file properly. If you're a little nervous or hesitant on whether or not you've done that, definitely go and check out my exporting video. I'll link it right here. Now that we have our .mp4 file, we can either click open or if we want, drag and drop into the uploader. So here I'm going to grab my mp4 and I'm going to drop our YouTube video is starting to upload. And we can tell that it's starting to upload by the bottom of our screen. Right now it says uploading 0%. It's estimated to take around an hour. So I'm going to fast forward to that so that we can just keep going with this video. So it's going to upload a version of your video. And then what you're going to see at the bottom of the screen is processing. Now this is very important. You can actually see the icon blinking as well. A big mistake that a lot of people make is they upload their video, they post it right away, and then they go to it and they see that it's in 360p. So don't jump too far ahead and go and delete your video. You haven't made a mistake or uploaded wrong. Essentially, YouTube is just compressing and processing your video to make sure that it can be high definition without taking up too much space. And we want to keep that in mind when we are thinking about when we're going to post it. So first and foremost, we have our title. Now, what you want to think about when you're creating your title, it's not necessarily what sounds the best to you, but we want to be realistic. We want to figure out what people are actually going to be typing in. I'm sure when you hop on Google and you're trying to figure out what symptoms you have or an answer to a question, you're typing in as few words as possible. So example, for this current video that you're watching, you probably didn't type in how to perfectly upload your YouTube videos in 2021. We're probably typing in upload video YouTube. So my first tip to you is going to be to create a title that is realistically going to be searched. One thing that I always tell my friends is to avoid starting your video with vlog number 420. People aren't typing in the word vlog and if they are there's millions of videos that are just vlogs and how are they going to differentiate whether or not to show your video. YouTube has a really hard time with that. The point is to create a title that is most clickable and more realistic to somebody's search. So you really want to think about keywords that somebody is typing in. So upload video YouTube. And then what I typically do from here is to create a more human version of it. So, you know, using different words that we would actually say in a sentence, how to upload a video to YouTube. And as I said that out loud, it sounded like I was a complete robot. So how to upload a video to YouTube in 2021. Pretty basic title. I think it does the job. It says what we're covering. It emphasizes the important words in our search. You know, I think this is a pretty good way to start. 
So the video I've actually uploaded is my guide on how to use the Osmo Mobile. So I'm just going to give you a second example here. How to use the DJI Osmo Mobile. You know, very basic, very straightforward, nothing overly crazy. You don't need to give any sort of clickbaity titles because until you have a large substantial following, I think clickbait titles are just kind of useless. You're kind of rolling the lottery with that. Whereas if you put a title that's actually what the video is, I think your audience will be a lot happier with you just in general. And it's a lot easier to find. Also, there's a hundred characters for our title use as many as you'd like. So you can even add some extra information here. How I use the Osmo Mobile for Instagram Reels. Kind of like a part two to the title and you can always change this later. Now in the description, we have 5,000 characters that we can use. So I highly recommend putting in as much information as you possibly can about your video, because why not? We have that information here and it allows everybody to know what your video is about. And that's what the entire purpose of uploading this content is. Today we discuss how to upload a video to YouTube in high definition or 4K and all of the essential steps to uploading. You know, that's a basic example. And then and in the description, we can plug our other social channels. We can put our affiliate links. There are a lot of different options and ways that we can customize this. So to each their own, I would say. Now, right below that, we have our thumbnail. And those are the three options that we have right here. In all honesty, these aren't the worst options, but we spent a lot of time creating this video. So why wouldn't we spend the time to create a nice thumbnail with it? So I'm gonna go through and select my thumbnail. Nice. Remember, the only information that most viewers have are the thumbnail and the title. These are two very pinnacle points of having your video clicked on in general. I'd highly recommend putting a little bit more effort into those if you have the time. From there, we have playlists. So if you don't currently have any playlists, feel free to make one. The main benefit to playlists is having the ability to keep your viewers on your content, essentially. For the most part, after they see your video, YouTube's going to recommend them other videos that might not necessarily be your uploaded videos. It might be other creators' videos. So having a playlist allows the ability for people to just play through all of your videos on autoplay. Right below that, we see the word audience. And this is now a very important part of the YouTube uploading process because there's actually a lot of kids going online and just doing toy reviews and they would make a lot of money selling the product and then also just from like YouTube ad revenue. We really want to make sure here that we click no, this is not made for kids. It's not putting an age restriction on it. Essentially, what you're doing is saying that no, I am not targeting children with this video because if you say yes, it is made for kids, they're going to take away any sort of ads that are going to be placed on your video and they're not to curate those. And as I click on go to checks, see, we need to answer this question. From here, most people will tell you that you're done. You know, you just go and you publish this video. But I really want to give you my personal insights, you know, and just be really honest with you. There's a lot more to the upload. And it's going to be in our show more category. So again, first and foremost, we want to make sure that if this is a paid video, we legally have to tell people when we are advertising in our videos. So if you have a product placement or a sponsorship or endorsement, you got to let us know. Now let's go to tags. We want to think of tags as hashtags for Instagram. Essentially, we're going to type in every single keyword that could possibly be related to our subject. We don't want to make our video tags too broad. What that's going to do is just put you in a giant pool of millions of videos uploaded within that category. We really want to narrow it down. So if my video was about the Osmo Mobile 3, I'm going to type in Osmo Mobile 3. Now I can also type in Osmo Mobile, but I'm not going to waste a tag on DJI because I'm sure there are thousands and thousands and thousands of videos uploaded with that tag. And it's not very specific at all. As you can see, we have 500 characters here. I would suggest using as many as you possibly can, as long as it's relating to your video. Now, the next thing just to help categorize your video is your video language. And that's going to allow YouTube to create closed captions for you because they know what language it's in. And then you can set your recording date and your video location if you'd like. The last thing you want to do is check the category. So it can get recommended to people who are searching for these types of videos. And here you can hold potentially inappropriate comments. So a lot of bot posts get posted on like videos about Instagram and stuff like that. So, so despite the hundreds of comments on those videos that I still get, they're holding back even more. The next thing we wanna look at is our video elements. This is a very important part of our upload process. Right here, we have the ability to add our end screen and to add cards. Cards are those info bubbles that pop up during a video like this, for example. And then the end screen is when you get to the end of the video and it has suggested videos. You can actually control what is shown there. YouTube doesn't generate that on their own. You have to go through and actually do that. So if we go to add, we have a ton of different options and templates here where we can have people subscribe on the right hand side and two videos on the left hand side. And you can actually control how long they're going to be here for. So this is a nice friendly reminder that subscribing goes a very long way. And if they loved your current video, you have the option to suggest other videos for them related on that topic instead of YouTube suggesting them to go 
elsewhere. This is where you go and you do that. And below our end screen, we have add cards. So if we wanna add cards, we're gonna click there. And this gives us the option to link videos, link playlists, or link other channels throughout our video. So if you notice earlier when I was talking about exporting a video, I put a card linking to my exporting video above. So it's a little suggestions like that that go a long way and really ease the process of helping out your viewers find your other content that is applicable. And you have a direct link to click what you're referencing in your video. So I can go on and I can select one of my videos here. Now there'll be a card at the very beginning of this video suggesting to go and check out my Instagram followers video. Now you can drag that to whatever point of your video that you'd like. So usually a point where I reference something, I will put a card. I don't usually just put them randomly, but there's our cards. And the last thing that we wanna do is we wanna go through our checks. So on our checks, what it's going to do is it's gonna try and find copyright. So it's gonna find out if your video is appropriate and it's gonna find out if it's even your video. It's gonna find out if the music is yours. All of these things are very important. You wanna make sure that you know this before you hit upload because that's gonna create issues with your channel. That's gonna get flags against your channel. So as we can see here, because I just made this channel for this example, my music bed account is not linked to this. Music bed found out that I'm trying to upload a video using their music without their permission, essentially. And finally, we have visibility, where we can either save or publish our video. If we wanna upload it as private, that's a video that only we're gonna be able to see. Now, if we want it uploaded and to be able to share with a certain amount of people, we're just gonna to go to unlisted, and that way our video can only be seen by people who have the link to it, which is pretty much under our control. And finally, we have public. If we're gonna go and publish this right now, we need to remember that it's still processing our HD video. So if it's gonna publish right away, people aren't gonna see the full resolution video. So we can schedule it to post at a different time if we want. Now we also have the option to premiere our video, which essentially allows other people to know that your video is going to be posted. They can set a reminder for it and they can watch it with you and other people. You're going to all watch it together and you can actually answer questions while the video is playing. If they have it, people get to comment. It's more of a fun experience as if it was your own movie that you're showcasing. So typically what I'm going to do is I'm either going to go unlisted or I'm going to schedule my video until it is totally processed the HD and 4K video. Now the processing time can be 30 minutes to multiple hours. So just keep an eye on that and make sure your videos are the quality that you want them to be when you upload them. I hope that this cleared up all of the confusing parts of uploading a video. If you found this video helpful, definitely feel free to subscribe. And I hope this allows you to have videos that perform up to your expectations. If you still have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Now, two tips to uploading faster. First, know how you export it. I have a video on exactly how to export for YouTube in high definition, so go check that out if you'd like. But you wanna make sure that your video is as compressed and high quality as it possibly can be before you upload it in order for it to process a lot faster. And the second thing would be to just hop off the internet on your other devices. Like don't watch a movie while you're trying to upload a video because that's just gonna throttle your internet and make the whole process take a lot longer. Or I guess a third tip would be to upload overnight and to schedule your videos. Cause then you don't really have to worry about them. You have the ability to upload overnight and it'll process your high definition video while you sleep. Thanks for sticking around. I hope this was super helpful and I'll see you when this video's uploaded. <laughs>